Okay, all caught up on Snapchat. I have a problem, mostly with goldfish. They're delicious, but only the extreme cheddar. I don't like the normal kind, and I don't like like pizza. Those things are nasty. I have goldfish all over my hands. Hello everyone, I am here with my final declutter video. I cannot believe I finally managed to go through all of my makeup. I think I was up until about like midnight doing the, the lip video, and I had like, my, my entire hand was varying forms of pinks and purples and reds. My sister's bridal shower was the next day, and I don't think that this kind of stuff all over my hand would have been appropriate. That's like stuck on there. That was just today though. In case you missed my other declutter videos, and if you did, I will link them in the info bar below. Um, I have gone through all of my makeup and been sorting it and kind of putting away stuff that no longer works for me or never worked for me or products that need to go in the trash and then keeping the really good products that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna be talking about my top five favorite, favorite products or brands or lines of products. And then also the five products that just didn't work well for me, I just wasn't overly impressed with and I have better things in my collection that I just like better. So without further ado, Let's get into this. So first we're gonna start with a positive one, one that I absolutely love and I love the entire line of these products. I think they are amazing and definitely something that was like a no-brainer for me when I was going through and like deciding what to keep and what to get rid of. And that is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. I love these. This one is in Magenta Luster. I also have Nude Luster and I have Berry Luster, I think it's called. Anyway, they're all gorgeous really rich pigmentation, a lot of color, um, but they don't feel gloopy or like, gloopy, that's not a word. Glo glock, glock, <laughs> glocky, that's also not a word. They're nice and creamy and they're just beautiful, beautiful wear on the lips and I just love it. Next is a lipstick I actually talked about on uh, Snapchat uh, a couple of days ago while I, when I was cleaning all of this stuff out and I showed you a picture of, a, it's about to like fall on the floor and I caught it. Caught it with my knees. Cut my reflexes. And I was showing you guys a swatch of a really high-end lipstick against a, a drugstore lipstick. And I was just showing you that sometimes the higher-end lipsticks, to me, are worth the extra coin because they're just beautiful. And then sometimes, not so much. And so I wanted to share with you a lipstick that I will not be keeping. And that is by Giorgio Armani. And this is the Rouge, Rouge Ecstasy 400. It wasn't super rich or pigmented. It just it kind of fell flat to me and so I had compared it to the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm which is a product I really like it I didn't actually include it in the five because there were just there were too many products but it is a really beautiful color and I love it and I think the pigmentation is a lot better so I thought I would just mention that for you guys this one just didn't work well for me I just did not love it and I feel like this drugstore one is a lot better I should do a dupe video how do you guys feel about that? Give this video a thumbs up and like let me know in the comments if that's something you guys wanna see. Be like a challenge. Next, a product that I absolutely love and that is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense and this is the Moisturizing Lip Color Balm and this is in Curviest Caramel and I love this color. It is a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. It almost feels like a nice serum on the lips. It's got great pigmentation without being too crazy um, but it is obviously on the intense side but they have a lot of different ones within their line. They have um, more sheer ones which are fine but I find the sheer ones just don't have a lot of pigmentation and to me I just don't think it's worth it but these ones I do I think they are beautiful and they just feel really nice on the lips and they're just nice and hydrating and just oh I love them so much my lipstick that I did not love um, comes from the drugstore and I can't open it hold on there we go and this is the color burst lip butter from Revlon in cupcake and it is just a lot of like a frosted pink Color. There are a couple of them within the line that I think are really, really pretty and are not frosted, but for whatever reason, this one is super icy pink and just not very flattering in my opinion. So yeah, this was a big <laughs> A next goodie that I absolutely love and is one that I think all of you are waiting for me to talk about and are just like, come on, I know it's coming, Rachel. Pick it up, let's go. Uh, it's the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. Yes, I know, I talk about it in every single video. I don't care. I don't care. The color in Melted Strawberry. Um, I recently got another one. Darn it. I can't find it, but it's fine. Probably downstairs in my purse or something, but it's the Melted Berry. And I love uh, the formulation of these so much, and they are so beautiful on the lips, so I love them. Love them. One that I did not like, and it wasn't so much the formula, it wasn't so much the color, 
it was the smell of the lipstick and I couldn't get over it unfortunately and it's by the company um, Jouer Cosmetics um, and it's in the color Lola such a beautiful color and I think it's gorgeous um, a lot of the colors are really really nice looking but like for me and maybe it's just like pregnancy hormones that are like getting in the way like it smells so like old-school lipstick and I cannot get over it I don't know I just wasn't a big fan of the smell and it was very overpowering for me another goodie that I love is the um, urban decay lipstick this one is in the color blackmail but I love the whole line and so I kind of wanted to talk about it sort of as the whole collection of lipsticks. I think they are all beautiful. I love Bittersweet, After Dark, Blackmail. I love, where's the other one? Bad Blood is gorgeous. They're all just very um, buttery and smooth and really highly pigmented. They don't dry out your lips at all. They do have that matte uh, finish, but in a very nice sort of like a, a soft way, almost like a, like they describe it as velvety on the website. So I'm gonna go with velvety because that's kind of how it is. It's not super drying or anything like that. The whole line is absolutely gorgeous. I think these are stunning, stunning lipsticks and I love them. One from Urban Decay that I did not like is the uh, high color lip gloss. I have Punch Drunk in the super saturated high gloss lip color and I also have it in the high gloss lip gloss. What is it? High color lip gloss. Sorry. Love this one. Did not like this one. I don't think there is any sort of high color in this. I think it is um, a nice wash of color if you're looking for this same color but in like a softer form then I would definitely go for this but I was going into this expecting it to be super highly pigmented and a, ni a nice shine which I didn't get and I found it a little to be a little bit streaky a little bit sticky on the lips I just wasn't overly fond of the formulation for these and um, yeah so you know, you win some, you lose some. My last one that I absolutely love, and I have talked about this line for years, and I think it's beautiful, so I wanted to talk about it again, and it's the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. And I understand that to be a different name depending on where you're from. For whatever reason, in Canada, it is Apocalypse, but other places, it is, it is not, but it still has the Ocalypse at the end of it, I think. I don't know. I have three of them that I really, really love. Um, this one is in Big Bang and it is a beautiful, bright, rich red tone. It to me is very similar to one of the um, Kat Von D lip uh, glosses. I think it's just like an awesome, awesome, awesome lip color. Super saturated color. It feels gorgeous on the lips. It gives you this nice high shine glossy look, which is gorgeous. And I find it has um, really good staying power if you start by setting the line and doing like lip liner on it first and then putting it on blotting and putting some on to, to finish off with then I think that it stays on quite well by itself not so much but it does have beautiful rich pegmentation and I think that the the entire line of these are gorgeous the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now is in the color stellar and then on top of it I just put a little bit of the covergirl jumbo gloss balm in uh, strawberry frappe just a tiny bit on top just to pink it up a bit because it is more of a ready pink tone so I just wanted to make it a little bit pinkier stick these back in here ah hair out of my lip gloss there we go I also really like the applicator itself it is thin enough that I can draw a line really nicely to get a nice crisp outline on my lips no problems at all and then it has like a little pocket in the middle so it carries a lot of the color right inside so you get to have like a really nice application for it and yeah it's just a really good drugstore product and then lastly the product that I don't like and this is actually a sample but I did want to mention it because I had it in my collection and it just wasn't up to snuff for me and that is the um, Stila stay all day vinyl lip gloss I think the color is beautiful this is a nude I think that's a really really pretty shade but as soon as I put it on my lips it's got that high shine quality but super tacky on the lips like it's just like when you put it on you're like ooh that looks nice look how shiny my lips are and then you try and talk and you're like not a big fan and that's everything for this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this series and stay tuned for the springtime where I'm sure I will be doing another declutter you know the drill and also let me know if you have any requests for videos that you guys want to see in the next little while I hope you are all having an amazing amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah.